Hello, welcome to the Eclectic Interest of Alex. I'm Alex. On this channel, I have a lot of different shows, and this is a show called The Cardboard Construction Zone, where I make things out of cardboard because, well, just for fun. Uh, it's been a while since I've been able to get in the zone, but today I'm back. I have started a whole lot of cardboard projects that I have just frankly not been able to finish. Today, I am going to... I just have a few hours. I'm going to see if I can start, carry through, and finish an awesome uh, cardboard robot. So let's take a look at the materials that I've set aside for using on this uh, freestanding cardboard robot thing. I uh, have as much cardboard as I might ever uh, hope to need. I also have extra uh, cardboard, little thin, white, easy to uh, manipulate. By the way, uh, if you like this video, um, please do leave a like, that helps out a lot. I'm going to start off with an armature, uh, which is just basically the skeleton of whatever it is you're sculpting or making. So I have uh, bits of wire and a whole lot. Uh, this is just some wire that was sitting around my house for years. I'm hoping to use it today and uh, this was a mangled bit of wire that came out of one of those uh, you know wire bound books and, and um, we're throwing the book away so we just yanked all the wire out and uh, yeah maybe that'll come in handy also I have uh, aluminum foil uh, just in case I want to add any reflective surfaces on my robot um, yeah, why not? That, that could be good. Uh, I have an awl for uh, poking holes in the cardboard. I am guessing this is going to come in handy a lot. Some uh, green utility tape, uh, some paper tape, and I have some glue. I have a little piece of foam in case, I mean foam is very lightweight. And I also have just uh, jars of knickknacks, washers, screws, and like just metal things. I'm gonna poke through this and see if maybe there's some kind of swivel or anything that will make the moving movable parts easier to move. So one of the main goals that I have for this project is that I would really like this robot to in the end be self-standing. Uh, not floppy and that, uh, just make it easy for the robot to be able to stand on its own. So toward that goal, I would like to put as much weight as possible towards the bottom, towards the feet, and as little weight as possible uh, higher up. So I have uh, spent a little time wrapping some foam and some wire to make a base, like a. this is going to be the torso uh, going up top, and I've also found some old, uh, also found some old screws with the, uh, the heads kind of drilled out of them, I'm not going to use those as screws, uh, but they're kind of weighty, so I think uh, these will be going in the feet, I don't, even if they're not that much of a structure or help, they'll just, I'll just toss them in there as some extra weight on the feet. Uh, even though I only got a few photos along the way, uh, I did spend a whole day yesterday uh, working on this guy, and this is where I've gotten to so far. Um, the main goal was to make it self-standing, and uh, that definitely worked out. I put a lot of weight in the bottom and the feet, and that helped it to be uh, much better self-standing. It was standing perfectly uh, until uh, I found some plumbing doodads which seemed to make a much better face than I was going to be able to make. I wasn't feeling very inspired for the face. So uh, yeah, I put some plumbing parts as a head face kind of thing which added a bit more weight than really wanted uh, and now 
doesn't stand perfectly, but still stands uh, fairly well. And uh, I was hoping to just spend a couple hours and be totally done done, but I seem to not be able to really do anything halfway. Uh, so I spent the whole day on this yesterday and got this uh, structure. Structurally, this is good. Um, it's kind of what I was going for in terms of the robot. I am going to spend hopefully only a couple more hours today just putting a shell over this, making some kind of cosmetic shell, seeing if we can bump up the presentation, which, because, I mean, you know, it looks alright like this, uh, and the structure is good, but, uh, yeah, I would like to cover this with some better looking stuff for presentation, see how good we can get this guy looking. Let's uh, see what I can accomplish. Alright, so I'm going to say pencils down and stop, uh, stop all this madness. I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. Um, it did only take a few more hours. Uh, it is still self-standing. I'm very happy about that. But the more uh, electrical tape that I keep uh, coating this thing with, the heavier, more top-heavy it gets. And it's, I mean, at, at some point it's going to not be self-standing anymore. Uh, so, it's good. I, um, it ended up being, the frame ended up being built out of foam a lot more than I expected. I expected to make a metal armature. I ultimately ended up just going with a lot of foam because it was um, lightweight, really rigid, um, easy to work with as just probably the speed with which I could work it with foam is probably why I ended up going that way. Um, it's a pretty, pretty asymmetrical. I tried to uh, sort of hide some of the, I mean, it just, it didn't end up turning out very symmetrical, mostly because I was going super fast. Uh, but overall, it looks pretty good. Um, I got some pretty good snapshots of it to throw in the video. And um, I'm just, uh, I'm glad I got a chance to uh, do another cardboard project, and I'm looking forward to doing uh couple more cardboard projects in the very near future. I hope you will join me for those. Uh, this is Alex on the Eclectic Interest of Alex uh, signing off. Until next time. Peace.